Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another video. This morning, me and dad are going to be putting the insulation bats in the exhaust fans for the new pack barn here, or the pack barn expansion. You can see these uh, exhaust fans are closed up from the outside with the tarps, but we still gotta put the insulation bats in there. And that's what we're gonna be doing this morning. He's coming with the wheel loader because that one fan on each side of the door pretty tall won't be able to reach those but uh yeah a little update on the pack barn here the electricians they showed up yesterday or the day before they've already got a row of lights up here it's looking incredible with the lights on in here you can see they're pretty bright that side of the barn has no leds this side of the barn has leds it's looking pretty good that's exciting it's uh getting dark pretty early out here now by five it starts to get dark so having lights in here to check the calves if there is any cows in the close-up pack here at night is gonna be awesome. Looking forward to that. And kind of the not so awesome thing. Look at that guys, we got snow. About uh, two to three inches it looks like. Or 10 centimeters maybe tops. It's looking like winter again. It's here and I think it's here to stay. Uh, kind of the Worst part about the weather getting cold is we are having trouble getting the doors out here that we need for this pack barn. This doorway is still completely open. Uh, those doors on the sides are the doors from the old pack barn. So they used to be in the wall just over there, but uh, they stacked them up in here to try and block some of the wind from rolling into this pack barn here. There's a total of eight water bowls, four on each side. They're Already frozen up once for sure, maybe twice. And uh, that parlor all the way at the front of this barn, that's uh, a pretty big worry. You know, the reason why they can't get these doors in, it's the same excuse they've been using since March of 2020. Um, I don't know when that's gonna get old for some people, but it's already old for us. We'd like some doors and uh, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty, pretty ridiculous at this point, but Little old dairy farmers out here have to worry about their parlor freezing up because <laughs> we can't get no doors, but it is what it is. Anyway, we're gonna get those bats put in the exhaust fans now. Insulation baths and the exhaust fans here. Dad's just scraped the snow out of the barn. So since this uh, door is still not in our pack barn, uh, we are not using the slot either because if we started running liquid through this slot, uh, where all the manure is supposed to go to, to the pit at the back of the main freestyle barn. Uh, it's definitely gonna freeze up here. Uh, slowly it'll build up and build up and build up and then eventually we'll probably have to hop in this entire slot here with a ice pick or something like that. And that doesn't sound like a lot of fun to us. So we're just not gonna use it until this door is in and it's all kind of finished off. So this morning yet we are gonna clean out the manure from the alleys here and then just haul them with the bobcat into the freestyle barn over there. Try and do that before lunch. now we are gonna clean the bucket out of the skid steer luckily we could just do that in the nice warm barn here where the tie-in is between the pack barn and the freestyle barn just hose the bucket out there's a lot of crap still in there right on the skid steer 
steer bucket is clean. I probably could have went a little harder off the skid steer. Probably gonna get some comments. It's a dirty machine, we're gonna leave it dirty. Park this thing back and let the cows back in the manure alley. Just parked the skid steer at the back of the cow barn. We are gonna adjust the fan settings in this barn. So since the tie-in is all the way at the front there, which goes to the pack barn and the door's not in the back, it's getting pretty cold out right now and we gotta slow the fans down in this barn because it's just sucking too much cold air through that entire pack barn. It's gonna freeze the water bowls and it's also just pulling too much cold air from the tie-in between this barn and the pack barn. So instead of running all of the fans full tilt in this barn, we're gonna turn half of them off right now. And we gotta do that at the back with the electrical room here. Well, we just switched the settings over in that box. I'm just gonna walk up and down the barn here to make sure that the fans that I want on are actually on and going. It's very important that there's some airflow in this barn. You absolutely wouldn't just want uh, one or two fans going in here. You still need enough airflow, enough fresh air for the ladies in this barn. Well, we are putting bedding in the corrals right now. Dad just went to the feedlot with the bale shredder. And that thing's hooked up again. This is the second time we're gonna be putting bedding in. Uh, there's not too much snow. We didn't get like more than, you know, three inches or whatever I said this morning. Um, but uh, yeah, we gotta put bedding in the corrals now. Keep them dry. They're still a little bit muddy. Dad just called me, said there was two cows outside of the pens here. So I went around back and we're gonna start by putting those little buggers back in their pens. Hey. So that's our Highline bale shredder. I've shown it quite a few times in videos, but uh, basically it can hold two bales, one in the chamber, one on the back forks, and you can shred bales out, shoot them right away onto the corrals and gives them a nice fresh layer of dry, warm bedding. That's the biggest thing. You wanna keep the cows dry. Once they start to get a little bit wet and it's this cold, they can get pneumonia, they can get some other sicknesses. You just wanna make sure they're healthy, dry, warm, and uh, make sure they're not gonna get sick because of this stupid weather that we got here. But uh, yeah, let's uh, open the krill up for the boss. So that pin that I just took out there on the chute, that's actually where the straw blasts out the side. We always just put that safety pin in there because otherwise that flap will kind of seep down over the course of a day in the shop and it'll hit another piece of equipment in there or it'll just lean up against the wall. That pin and that safety just make sure that it's gonna stay up in the uh, storage position. So he always gets me to take it off. Well guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons down below. Check out the Instagram, at SassDutchKid, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.